The American government spent over $2 trillion in a tragic 20-year campaign in the Afghan war, but has nothing to show for it but blood in the sand. President Joe Biden defended the U.S. exit, citing the American lives lost in the war to weather criticisms. But the immensity of its failure in Afghanistan reverberates across the four corners of the globe with devastating CIA and military interventions in the region. The whole world is still unable to get a grip of the extent of America's misadventure. In defending his decision, Biden said America could not afford to extend its involvement in the Afghan civil war and said the deteriorating situation in the country is sad proof that no military force would ever deliver stability, unity, and security in the region. Biden said, this is not in our national security interests. It is not what the American people want. It is not what our troops, who have sacrificed so much over the past two decades, deserve. America went to Afghanistan with guns blazing almost 20 years ago with clear goals. Get those responsible for the 9-11 attacks. It was also to ensure Al-Qaeda could not use Afghanistan as a base to launch attacks on the U.S. Biden said this remains the country's only interest. With its officials fleeing Afghanistan, Biden said American troops should not be fighting and dying in a war Afghans are unwilling to fight for themselves. Biden inherited a peace deal former American President Donald Trump negotiated with Taliban. Estimates by Brown University's Cost of War project showed the U.S. spent more than $2 trillion on the war in Afghanistan, including direct funding costs of $800 billion and $83 billion to train the Afghan army. American service members killed in April, 2,448, contractors, 3,846, Afghan security forces, 66,000, NATO members and allies, 1,144, civilians, 47,245, Taliban, 51,191, eight workers, 444, and journalists, 72. In the aftermath of the Taliban's regaining control of Afghanistan, many were quick to blame the Democrats and Republican policies. But in truth, the failure in Afghanistan reflects the collapse of American political culture. In these times of crisis, how will the world adjust when we are all left asking, Afghanistan, what is happening? This has been Michelle Gillian from the Tribune.